proceedings, as usual, will open with the song of the league. Miss Featherwell. We are members of the League of Purity, League of Purity, League of Purity. Join the League if you are for purity in this wicked land. No one purer could you find, pure in body, pure in mind. We are members of the League of Purity, join our happy band. We are members of the League of Purity, League of Purity, League of Purity, join the League. If you're for purity in this wicked land, no one purer could you find pure in body, pure in mind. We're members of the League of Purity. Join our happy band. Men and women. Of Dunton, my nephew Lord Pye has news for you. As your landlord, you owe him a debt of gratitude. Three years ago, this village was in a state of sin. Yeah. 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 Then I joined my nephew's household, and everything was altered. Shame. I am proud to claim that from that date, the demon alcohol has been banished from our village. With him, his confederates, frivolity and worldliness. Yeah. I at least am happy. Yeah. Yeah. Happy in the knowledge that not only have I made Dumpton see the error of its ways, but Lord Pye himself. Lord Pye will now speak to you. Wilfred. <laughs> my friends, my pure Tonight is the annual convention of our glorious league. In the name of our village, I shall attend it. The convention is to be held in Birmingham, a worldly city of lights, of music, of temptation. And as your representative, I shall attend it. To give me strength in the battle, I shall take with me my old friend, my shield and buckler. Our secretary, Rupert Body, the purest of us all. Uh, always accepting my Uncle Samson. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for your attention. I have a statement to make that will convince our members that if ever the League of Purity was justified, it is at this moment. Upon our recent inspection of the village school, while examining the lockers of Standard 7, to see if they were tidy. To my horror, I found this. A photograph of a young female, most insufficiently clad. Wilfred. Good. <laughs> Gracious. She appears to be a cabaret dancer. May I look? Certainly not. Wilfred, give that to me. Oh, yes. Women of Dumpton, look and blush. Men of Dumpton. No, you'd better not look. It may appeal to some people, but to us of the Purity League, it is disgusting. Revolting. Unsettling. Offensive. Oh, frightful. while you're swimming. No, I shan't. And don't you be a bully. I have to be, darling. That's what stepmothers are for. Anyway, I'm not swimming. See what I've got here. Where did you get that? Aren't you proud of your daughter? Of course, darling. 
I think it's a swindle. Yes, the famous Benita, my own stepsister, was probably hundreds of gorgeous men she could introduce me to, and I've never even met her. My dear, I don't tell your father she's an actress. Are you going to pretend she lives in Canada forever? I may have to. If he knew Benita's my daughter... He throw fit. Oh, your father's all right. If it weren't for great Uncle Samson. He can never forget he was his guardian. Yes? Oh, pardon, Uncle. Peace be on this house. Be careful, darling. Oh, here's your father and Uncle Samson. So it is. The Joy Boys are here. See you later, darling. I'm not staying to be jawed at by great Uncle Samson. Kiss the old body for me. Back so soon. How are you, Mr. Body? Oh, topping, topping. My dear, why was Phyllis not at the meeting? Surely she realizes that a good example from her counts so much for the village. As a girl guide, she has her responsibilities. Phyllis! 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 She appears to have submerged. Phyllis, come up at once. Can you see her? No, but I can see something floating in the water. Well, Look, it's most peculiar. Oh, it's the reflection of your face. Don't talk nonsense. That's a jellyfish. No, oh. Well, it's the first jellyfish I've seen with a top hat on. Hello. What are you two doing, looking for tiddlers? Do I look like a man who'd look for tiddlers? How are you, Mr. Body? Thank you in rude help. I, I pick up on you. Did you have a nice meeting, dear? Excellent. Went off without a hitch. Most enjoyable. Yes. I think I spoke rather forcibly, don't you, Uncle? Wilfred, you shook them. I thought so. Especially in the third row. My dear, we have news for you. Really? Yes, tonight he leaves us to attend the Purity Convention at Birmingham. Accompanied by Rupert. How nice for both of you. Linda, what is this immoral publication doing here? Yes, indeed. What is it doing here? It's mine, and don't bully Linda. Phyllis. Refer to your stepmother more respectfully. And another thing, your, your swimming costume. What's wrong with it? Wilfred, tell her. Your great uncle is right. It is no better than this cabaret dancer's. I think she's lovely. Wilfred, will you deal with this? She thinks it's lovely. Oh, you do, do you? So I come back from fighting the cause of purity against this very object, only to find it lurking in my own home like a... like a... Adder? Thank you. Like a adder. I come back exhausted for my own daughter to turn upon me like a serpent in my bosom. <sighs> really, body, please. Chest. So you consider this shameless exhibition admirable, do you? Well, I do not. I think it is the most revolting, shocking, decadent, unprincipled, nauseating, offensive, abominable exhibition I have ever seen. My dear pie, my dear body. This is where we shall stay. But why here? It is our duty to the League. The amount of immorality that goes on in Dumpton is entirely inadequate to men of our caliber. But this is different. Here we shall find real scope. But what about the Birmingham Convention? Oh, it can't be helped. It was your fault we missed the train at Houston. Well, in a way, yes. But believe me, everything is for the best. There you are. Give, give your bag, bag to the flotter. Oh, that's right. If we had gone to Birmingham, we should never have known what is going on here. But uh, why must we stay here to convince ourselves of the full extent of this shameless exhibition? I have never seen such bare... From Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. Have you uh, any... What is that? Benita, the big cabaret star. It's her last night here, sir. Indeed. 
Come, Rupert. <clears throat> Mademoiselle Benita. That'll be the fifth lot tonight. What does it matter? I adore her. White carnation. Uh, Clark. Yes, sir. Quite a jollification going on. Yes, a sort of send-off to Benita. She's going to America. Oh, surely this is not her last appearance here this evening. Oh, no, sir. She comes on again later. Ah. <laughs> yeah. We, uh, we require a suite. Certainly, sir. We have one on the second floor. The Madame Pompadour suite. I'll take that. Page. Pompadour suite. Come along, don't gape, man. Sign. Your real name. It's no use aiming low. Only in the highest circles does the devil really come into his own. That reminds me, we must fight him with his own weapons. Uh, Clark, yes, sir. where is the flower counter? Just over here, sir. Oh. Come, come along, Rupert. <laughs> 
We'll go to our suite later. Thank you. Five guineas, sir. Ah, oh, here we are. The very thing. One for you and one for me. Monsieur, you steal my flowers. Oh, but don't allow this man to talk to you like that. It isn't me he's talking to, it's you. But I don't know the fellow. Those are the Count's flowers, sir. You are robbing a beautiful woman. <laughs> he thinks he's a beautiful woman. Your pardon, madame. Come, Rupert. Shall I charge those, sir? Certainly. What name? Madame Pompadour. Good evening, Your Lordship. Good evening. You will see your suite, yes? Yes, if you please. If you please. Let Miss Benita have this at once, please. With pleasure, madam. And I shall require a room. Certainly, madam. Benita! Benita! Darling, I'm so glad to see you. Why didn't you tell me you were coming? Oh, I didn't know you. You'll have to come to to tell me. And how's my stepfather? Very well. Good? Horribly. Oh. I'll call you in a moment, Helen. Yes, now, you will stay and see me off on the boat in the morning. I can't, darling, possibly. I must be home in the morning. Oh, no. Mother, darling. My dear, what gilded splendor. Ah, very nice. Very nice. I hope your lordship will behave just as if it was uh, your own home. Well, yes. And no. <laughs> when the mouse is away from the cat, he will play. <laughs> Bellet. Your Lordship. You lay our evening clothes out, please. Porter. Your Lordship. Help the valet. Waiter. Your Lordship. Bring us two cocktails, please. Dry ones. Rietti. <laughs> Will you reserve me a table for supper, please? Next to the cabaret. I know you can't help it, and I'm not going to bully you, but it's awful seeing you only once in a blue moon. I know it is. Oh, and just because the great Uncle Samson has a nasty mind, just because the girl's on the stage doesn't Benita, mean... Benita, darling. Well... How'd you manage to sneak away? Wilfred's attending a purity convention at Birmingham. Rupert, we have men's work to do. I can't help feeling we're wrong in being in such a palace of sin. Not even from the highest motives. Oh, does that make it different? Of course it does. One day, Rupert Buddy, you will thank me. What an opportunity for one who has the cause of purity at heart. Come, 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 come. Oh, aren't they lovely, Helen? Who are they from? Mr. Ellison and Count Duval. Count Duval. Send those with the rest to the hospital in the morning. I'll arrange these. Oh, are they both there? Benita, who's Mr. Ellison? Jimmy? He's a dear. He's so good looking. Indeed. Oh, and terribly rich. Is he? I feel rather sorry for him. He wants me to marry him. Well, dear, if he's so rich. Oh, Mummy, you're a wicked old woman. I'm so happy I could burst. Come on, I want you to meet both of them. Oh, Benita, wait a minute. Who is Count Duval? Oh, you needn't worry. He's only a mascot. Hello, Jimmy. Hello there. Everybody meet everybody. Count Duval, Jimmy Ellison, my mother, Lady Pry. Oh, mother? I don't believe it. It's a dastardly lie. My dear, what a nice man. Isn't he sweet? You're so divine. So beautiful. So cruel. Yeah, yeah, none of that. I shan't let you carry my makeup box. Oh, mademoiselle, you have no heart. No. I don't believe all your sister says. Sister? <laughs> Benita, he's charming. Isn't he marvelous? Oh, let me help you, Benita. Jimmy, dear, you take Mother down. I'll join you after the show and we'll all have supper together. Right here. Cheerio. Hooray. I also have a table for you and me. Uh -uh. One table's enough, thank you, Count.
very sorry, Your Lordship. But this is the very best I can do at the moment. I say fine. Quiet. Jimmy, I must go. I don't go yet. Benita's just going to sing. I know, but I can't stay. Please, Jimmy. You can have my table now if you want. Splendid. Will you excuse me, please? My lord, sheep. I have now a much better table. Oh, good. Come, Rupert. Mm -hmm. Serve champagne here? Certainly, my lord. It's worse than I thought. Bring two bottles, please. At once, my lord. But I say fine. Quiet, please. We must see if he is speaking the truth. Heat, and the rhythm of my heart is the tom-tom beat For you bring out the savage in me Primitive love cries reach my ears With the passion of a hundred million years For you bring out the savage in me Oh, call it madness or sin How was I to know What was sleeping within me just like Tarzan, you'll be my ape man. I'm getting so ferocious and you can't escape, man. You'll find out how wild I can be. Cause you wake up the savage in me. My blood boils with a tropic heat. And the rhythm of my heart is a tom tom beat. For you bring out the Primitive love cries reach my ears with a passion of a hundred million years. For you bring out the savage in me. Oh, call it madness or sin. How was I to know what was sleeping within? Just like Tarzan, you be my ape man. I'm getting so ferocious, and you can't escape, man. You'll find out how wild I can be, cause you bring out the savage in me.
Dreadfully shocked. Why, just now you were applauding like anything. Like this. Oh, no, no. What I did was this. I raised my hands to heaven in horror at such an exhibition. Oh, was that it? Yes, that was it. Then why did you shout bravo? Oh, that was in disgust. Couldn't you tell that? I didn't shout bravo like everybody else. Oh, no. I shouted bravo. Sarcastically. Oh, was that it? Yes, that was it. Monsieur? Go away. You take my beautiful flower, yes. You call me a madame, yes. You steal the keepsake of the lady I love. No, my car. I don't want your car. Go away. Now, what makes you think he's looking for you? What other possible reason could there be? Benita, he's followed me. Oh, nonsense. He's probably staying here. Yes, of course. Hello. Can you tell me, is Lord Pye staying here? Oh. Oh, thank you. Well, you're right, my dear. He is staying here, and he's got the Pompadour suite. <laughs> oh, he has, has he? And that shows he's not after you, Linda. Then who is he after? He ought to be in Birmingham. And who's the funny little man with him? Mr. Body. Oh. They both ought to be in Birmingham. <laughs> Answer that, Jimmy. Now, 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 you're quite safe here. Hello? Someone for you, darling. Oh, I will see no more victims of my fatal beauty tonight. <laughs> Miss Benita will see no more victims of her fatal beauty tonight. Don't say that, you fool. I know who it is. Oh, will you ask him his name, please? What name shall I say? I beg your pardon? What's your name? Name? Oh, Lord Pye. Lord Pye wishes to see Miss Benita. I knew it. To see me? <laughs> yes, what should I say? Send him up. Linda, are you mad? Do as I tell you. All right. Send him up. You ought to go up. Suite three and one third floor. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> well, good night, Rupert. Good night, Pye, old man. <laughs> Good night, Rupert. <laughs> Good night, old fellow. <laughs> I say, Pine, are you trying to get rid of me? Now, listen, Rupert. It wouldn't be fair to this young person to try to rescue her before a third party. Oh, all right. Uh, but you will be strong, won't you, Wilfred? I shall appeal to her conscience and lead her back to the path of virtue. I wonder what she'll say when she knows what you've come for. That I shall tell you in the morning. In the meantime, Rupert, to work. What can I do? Go forth into the streets and wave the banner of purity. Where do you suggest that I should wave it, my old man? Well, I think uh, a nightclub would be the best place. A uh, waiter, my friend wishes to visit a nightclub. Do you know of any? One or two, your lordship. But I say pie. Which do you recommend? Well, just at present, my lord, the best place is the Devil's Kitchen. The Devil's Kitchen? <clears throat> a hot spot? Warmish, my lord. Ah. It used to be called Up in Mabel's Room, if you remember. Quite. <clears throat> a grand field for action, is it? Unique. But Rupert, have a care. The streets of London hold pitfalls for such as you. What do you mean, such as me? Fragile souls that bruise easily. From paradise to purgatory is but a step. So, Rupert, watch your step. Oh, excuse me. Oh, it's you, is it? Bonsoir, monsieur. I beg your pardon? Bonsoir, monsieur. When you say that to me, smile. Après vous, monsieur. Après vous. Après vous. Oh, you've had your turn. Which floor, sir? Third, Miss Benita.
Uh, Mademoiselle Benita. Andre. Merci. Pour Mademoiselle Benita, avec mes félicitations. OK, sir. What shall I say? Let him talk and find out exactly how much he knows. Come in. From Lord Pymus. Ah, uh, pleased to meet you. <coughs> uh, uh, delighted to meet you. Uh, haven't we met before, sir? No. So, you are Lord Pye. Yes. Yeah. This is a surprise. <laughs> Am I? I mean, is it? <laughs> yes, I expected someone much older. Older? And less uh, military looking. Uh, military looking. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> well, uh, tell me, how old do you think I am? Thirty. No. No? Uh, thirty-five. No. Oh, you can't be forty. Certainly not. Thirty-eight last February. Last February. Last fe last June. <laughs> thank you. Cigarette? Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know you don't look a day over thirty. Oh, my dear child, I have a daughter of eighteen. Oh, you must have married very young. Oh, I did, I did. And I have a, a stepdaughter about the same age as yourself. Oh, you have? Yes. How'd you do it? Oh, I didn't do it. Uh, I mean, <laughs> naturally, I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> but it just goes to show, doesn't it? It does. Yes. And this stepdaughter, does she live with you? Oh, no. I've never seen her. No, she's in Canada. Oh, in Canada. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you uh, like my dance? Oh, I loved it. You weren't shocked or anything? Shocked? Why? Well, I mean, the costume. There wasn't much of it. Well, if it comes to that, in the summer I leave off my woolies, too. No. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you know, these flowers must have cost you a fortune. Oh, a, a mere nothing. A mere nothing. Oh, whatever's this? Whatever's what? Oh, how very sweet of you. <laughs> What's sweet of me? This little surprise in the middle. What surprise in the middle? Yes. Oh, that, yes. Yes, I thought you'd be surprised at that. Oh. What's the matter? How perfectly sweet of you. Yes, but, but uh, I, I haven't been any sweeter, have I? Now, you know you have. Oh, it's beautiful. And I never knew it was there. No, neither did I. Did I mean, uh, do you like it? I love it, don't you? I don't know. Let me see. No, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Oh, but you chose it. I know. It looked all right in the shop. But now I, I don't like it. You better give it back to me. Oh, but why? Because they made it all wrong. How? Well, you see, I told the jeweler to make it for your right hand, and, and, and he's... Um, and your left hand, he's made it for your right. Oh, but that doesn't matter. Oh, yes, it does. You can't wear a right-handed ring on a left-handed finger. Can't I? No, no of course not. I don't think I can accept it. You can't? No, I've never accepted jewelry from a man before. No, well, of course, in that case... But as it's you, it's different. Yes, I thought it might be. And as it means so much to you... It does. I'm going to let you give it to me after all. Oh, thank you so much. Isn't it the dearest thing? I'll bet it is. Do you know what you're going to get for this? About six months, I should think. Oh, I must put these lovely flowers in water. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> Monsieur, my card. Your card? I don't want your card. What is it you want? My flowers. You can't have them. I haven't finished with them yet. Besides, what do you mean by hiding things in flowers? That ring must have cost a fortune. Two hundred and fifty pounds. Yeah. How much? An insignificant token of my esteem. Well, you've no right to go around giving girls insignificant tokens of your esteem worth 250 pounds. It's men like you that get men like me into trouble. You pay me the money or I call the police. Now, my dear man, do be reasonable. How can I find 250 pounds at this time of night? That, monsieur, is your business, not mine. Do I keep the money, yes? Or do I give you to the police? No, don't do that. Let's discuss this quietly. Certainly. I said quietly. <laughs> Will you excuse us? My friend doesn't feel very well. I am very well. Nonsense, my dear fellow. You were never nearer death. You could have knocked me down with a feather. So he doesn't know I'm here. No, of course not. If he did, he'd run a mile. He and his purity league. It's not his fault. 
But here's a chance to make him tell Uncle Samson to go to Birmingham. Come in. Was that him? It was. The old black. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry, I'll take care of him. What are you going to do, take him on the boat and push him overboard? Oh, no. My American trip is postponed. Good. Oh, well, I never really wanted to spend my honeymoon in America. Oh, who said anything about a honeymoon? No. Still, there might be if yes. you do something for me. Oh, is that all? Mother-in-law, come and stay with us. Wait a minute, wait. Tell me, how do you stand with the girls in the cabaret? Oh, well, a fellow can't help having natural charm. Oh, I know you suffer like that. But if you were to offer them a day in the country, would they come? Yeah, I should be killed in the rush. Right. That's your job. Now get to it. Ten minutes. You will return my ring. If you will stay down here. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes, and not one minute longer. Where do you want me to take these girls? Dumpton. Whatever for? To do some missionary work. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't worry, I shall be there, darling. At Dumpton? Yes. But Great Uncle Samson. Oh, don't worry about Great Uncle Samson. My middle name is Delilah. I'm going to borrow your Lord and Master for an hour or two. What are you going to do? I'm going to show him the pretty lights. I'm going to take him around the town, and around, and around, and around, and around. I'm going to show the world exactly what the great Lord Wilfred Pye looks like when he thinks nobody's watching him. And I hope every one of his killjoy friends sees him. Oh. Good luck, darling. Thank you. Let's take a peek. You? Yes, it's me. I hope I haven't kept you waiting. Now, I wonder if I dare... Dare what? Ask you to have a little supper. Oh, I wish you had mentioned it sooner. Why? I've got a date. Oh, t -t 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 put him off. Shall I? Do. Oh, I really can't refuse you. You can't? I simply can't. Then you'll come? Yes. Then off we go. Fair, sir. Fair lady. Oh, Monsieur, your name. I wish to know your name. My card. Where should we go? Anywhere, everywhere. What shall we do? Let's bathe in champagne. Your prison soul, I pray on bottles. 
Nice time to come home. <laughs> I've had my bath and gone to bed. So you have. I think I'll do the same. Where, where are you going? Into the bedroom to have a bath. Wait a minute. I'll come with you. <laughs> Don't worry now. Don't worry. I'll, I'll give you a hand. Here, what's the idea? Half an hour I knock and he does not answer. Can't you read? No. Come in. Come in. Mr. Rupert Body. Can't you keep your trap shut? That ain't Mr. Body. That's his lordship. What is it? Oh. Oh. What is it? Beg pardon, my lord. This here foreigner wants to speak to Mr. Body. Very urgent. Mr. Body? Oui, my lord. Mr. Body. Oh. There's the body. Thank you, Valet. Thank you. Oh, and valid. Yes, my lord. I shall be in the bathroom. 
bring me a lot of ice and a bottle of Worcester sauce. Uh, okay, my lord. Uh, no, Worcester. Mr. Body. Yes, dear. Mr. Body. Oh, who is it? The card of Monsieur. Good heavens, a conjurer. Yes, that's my card. You are Mr. Buddy. Am I? Uh, give me that glass. Oh, yes, that's me. What do you want, my good man? The compliments of my master, the Count Duval, and he desires at once 250 pounds. I don't understand. Is that so? Then I will explain. Valley, <laughs> look up the next train to Dumpton. Where, my lord? Dumhampton. Where's that, my lord? <laughs> don't ask me, I live there. Oh. Very well, oh. my lord. Oh. 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 Hi, old man. I say pie. Can you hear me? Pie. Oh, my head. The top of my head. It keeps opening and shutting. Pie, I, I want to tell you about something serious that happened this morning. Rupert, if you love me, silence. Until we reach Dumpton. No talk. No news. No nothing. Good afternoon, miss. Is there anything I can do for you? Yes, there is. I'm expecting some of my friends down this evening, and I want you to take care of them. I'm afraid I can't offer them much entertainment. Oh, don't you worry. They'll bring their own. Oh. I say bye. If you say I say bye again, I shall hit you in the face. That was Lord Pye, miss. Ah, oh, so it was. You remember that young woman at the hotel last night? What young woman? Why, Miss Benita Delise. Well, what about her? I've just seen her talking to the landlord at the Dumpton Arms. Don't talk nonsense. She's gone to America. Oh, yes, of course. I forgot that. Good heavens! Dastardly outrage! What's the matter? A most distressing thing occurred last night. Where? At Birmingham. Not at Father's meeting. The Congress of the League for Promotion of Purity Among Part-Time Workers, which took place at Birmingham last night, was dispersed somewhat earlier than the agenda called for. Before the conclusion of the opening speech, a troop of hooligans rushed into the hall and hurled rotten tomatoes and stink bombs among the members, who hurriedly fled from the hall. I trust your father and Mr. Buddy were not involved. Oh, I don't think father would throw rotten tomatoes and stink bombs. There are times when levity is out of place. And then he became very threatening, and he had my card as evidence. Your own card? Yes, my own card. I wonder how he got there. I can't think. Neither can I. So I gave him the money. You gave him the... But you hadn't got it. I, I borrowed it from the funds of the League. Rupert! How could you? I don't know, but I did. But the accounts have to be submitted at the meeting tonight. I know, Pai. I want you to lend me the money. Me? You do understand, don't you, old man? You see, I wasn't feeling very well, and it seemed the only thing to do. You see, last night at the Devil's Kitchen, I decided to reform some young women I met there. There was one especially. Oh, one moment. <clears throat> There was uh, one especially? Yes, there was one especially. I understand. Proceed. <laughs> I, I don't actually remember giving a girl a diamond ring, but I suppose I must have, because this chap had my card. Rupert, you have done a dreadful thing. But for the sake of our old school days at St. Asaph's, I will lend you the money. You will? Oh, Pi, 
You are a friend indeed. You're informing me. <clears throat> Father and Mr. Bobby are back. Ah, now we shall hear about the convention. Nonsense, none of them wore tights. But the one who winked at me... Ah. I quite agree. All money from pew rents should be devoted to the good of the parish, while repairs to the steeple should be done by the vestry. Ah, uncle. Ah, boys, back again. <laughs> here we are, back again. <laughs> Aren't we, buddy? Yes, here we are, back again. Good. Now, I want to know exactly what happened last night. It must have been a terrible experience. Where are When? They? At the meeting. The convention. Oh, the convention. Oh, yes. Well, of course, it all went through exactly as laid out in the agenda. Yes, of course. To start with. Yes, of course, to start with. Didn't it, Rupert? Yes, of course, to start with. Exactly as laid out in the agenda. What happened then? Then? Oh, then. Yes. Yes, what happened then? When? <laughs> then. What happened to all those hooligans who rushed into the hall? Who? 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 I don't wonder you want to know about that. Here. Yeah. What's he talking about? He wishes to know what was laid out in the agenda. If you're not more helpful, I shall lay you out in the agenda. The smell must have been overpowering. The, the smell? smell? Yes, the smell. Oh, it was. Yes, it was. Yes, the hall was lined with flowers, and their perfume... I don't mean the smell of the flowers. I'm talking about the other smell. Does he mean that? The, the other, other smell? smell? Stink bombs. What did he call it? Stink bombs. I thought he did. <laughs> well, uh... Uh, stink bombs, <clears throat> yes. Uh, stink bombs? <laughs> well, of course, uh, the modern uh, form of stink bomb, as opposed to the, uh, the original form of stink bomb, is, of course, a hundred percent up on uh, the interruption of anything like a political or a serious meeting. Uh, the odd little stink bomb, you remember the years ago, the little stink bomb, well, it would interfere with the meeting of, say, a hundred souls. But now, of course... Uh, excuse me, Your Lordship. There's a young lady to see you. A young lady? Yes, sir. What's her name? She wouldn't give any name, sir. Hmm. Oh, well, I'll go and see what she wants. Oh, it's just someone she calling for a subscription. I'll see her, don't you, Barbara? Wilfred! What's the matter, darling? Darling? Excuse me, I'm afraid... Aren't you glad to see me again so soon? I'll talk to you outside in the hall. Surely, madam, there must be some mistake. No, there isn't. Aren't you going to kiss me? <gasps> Alfred, you may go. So you don't know me, so you don't know me. What is the meaning of this? Well, we... Uh, I... What's that? Silence! Have you met this woman before? <laughs> well, of course he has. We met in Birmingham. But I asked him to keep it a secret. Didn't I, Angel? <laughs> did you? Oh, you are funny. Of course I did. Exactly what are you to my nephew? Can't you guess? No, I cannot. Wilfred, who is this woman? That's right. What do you mean, that's right? Uh, yes, who are you? Well, I did think Dada would recognize me. Dada? 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 Yes, I'm Benita, his stepdaughter from Canada. What? What, Linda's girl? Yes, great Uncle Samson. Oh, my dear child. Can you ever forgive me? Of course I can. Welcome to Dumpton. What a surprise. Yes, isn't it? Look how surprised I am. Why on earth didn't you tell me before who she was? Ah, that was part of the surprise. We were just having a little game with you. Oh, where are you? It was Mr. Body's idea. Oh, uh, was it? I wanted to give Mother a surprise. Sugar? Thank you. Where is she? Oh, she's away. Away? Yes, and there's no telling when she'll be home. Oh. So you'd better go back to Canada. Oh. Nonsense. She'll be here in a minute. Oh. You do forgive us for deceiving you. Oh, of course, of course. May I? May I give you a kiss? Why not?
Wilfred, what a delightful child. A really affectionate child. <laughs> yes, one of the most affectionate children I have ever met. Uh, Phyllis, this is your stepsister, Benita. Oh, so you, Phyllis. I've always wanted to meet you. And... Shall we have some tea outside? Yes, let's. I've so much to tell you. How marvellous. How wonderful. And how fortunate. <laughs> fortunate? Yes, she'll be able to come to the meeting tonight. Buddy, have you your accounts ready? Oh, quite. Quite. They should make very interesting reading. Hey, Wilfred? Oh, quite. Quite. I thought perhaps you'd like to know, sir, that her ladyship has just arrived. Linda! Ask Lady Pye to come down to the library and tell Miss Benita her mother has arrived. Her mother? Is she here too? What are you talking about? Her mother is your wife. Oh, <laughs> I forgot that. What a reunion. Imagine Linda's surprise. That's just what I am doing. Happy mother, happy daughter. Oh, she's happy enough. Ah, what a picture they'll make. Buddy, you'll find me at the bottom of the moat. You'll give me my 250 pounds first, won't you? Oh, don't talk such trivialities when I'm in such trouble. Buddy, you'll join us at dinner. Uh, no, thank you. You will. Don't you dare leave me. Oh, very well. I'll be delighted. Good. He's delighted. What about? Uh, ah, Linda. Wilfred has a wonderful surprise for you. How lovely. Well, Wilfred, did you have a nice time? Linda! Linda, I've always been a good husband to you, haven't I? Yes, my dear. Mother, look who's here. Wicked. Mother, darling. She's going to try to deceive my wife. She'll never do it. It's Benita, your little daughter. <gasps> she can't do it. My child. She's done it. Myself presentable. Oh, a pure waste of time. Why leave me at a time like this? You of all people, the one man I thought I could rely on, the one man who I've always thought would. It's on. I thought would stand by me in an emergency. Put that in there. Now give it to me. Oh. My dear man, I can't. I can't stand this much longer. You know, when she said. When she said she was my daughter, I was amazed. But when Uncle Samson and Phyllis believed her, I was thunderstruck. When my wife believed her, I was absolutely... Hush, hush. I can't help it, I must say it. No, no. Yes, I must. Flummoxed. Can't you think of anything? Yes. When can I have my 250 pounds? Oh, don't keep harping on that. Always thinking of your own troubles. If I were you and an old friend like me was in trouble, I should be worried to death. Well, I am worried to death. If you could let me have it in cash, I should prefer it. Heidi, Heidi, die. Heidi, Heidi, what? A form of salutation used by the natives of North America. Now, look here, what do you mean by this? By what, Wilfred? Don't call me Wilfred. Why, by telling everybody that you're my stepdaughter. You ought to be very grateful. I saved the situation. 
How was I to know you had a house full of uncle? I shall expose you. You dare not. And you know it. Ah, <laughs> oh, there you are, darling. And Mr. Bonnie. I hope you brought your music. Have you? No, good. Well, dear, I hope you've been amusing each other. I've been terribly amused. As I thought. One minute past. Dinner's late again. Uncle Sam. Ah. Mummy, you're not wearing those flowers I gave you. Oh, no. Those lovely red roses. So you like England? What you've seen of it? Oh, I think your policemen are wonderful. You're there, Phyllis. You must come and sit next to me, Mr. Body. You must have a lot to tell me. You mustn't encourage me, Lady Pye. I'm such a chatterbox. <laughs> Don't snigger, Phyllis. I can't help it. It's Daddy. He's so military looking. Alfred, help us And now, Wilfred, for your account of the convention at Birmingham. <laughs> Some salt, dear. Wilfred, you pepper. Wilfred, there's the mustard. Oh, I beg your pardon, Uncle Samson. There must have been a dreadful panic. Panic? P panic when? When all the members rushed out of the building. Oh, yes, there was, rather. But that's after I'd left the hall to look for Body. Body, where were you? Yes, Rupert, where were you? I went to look for five. Then you weren't actually in the hall when the bombs were thrown? No, at least we were not exactly in the hall and not exactly out. There was half a body in and a portion of pie out. <laughs> How very thrilling. And did all this happen to you last night? Yes. Well, go on, tell me all about it. I'm especially interested. Oh, no, I don't think I'll bore you. Oh, yes, you will. After the panic, what happened then? The panic? Uh, what happened then? Oh, well, so, well, that's where Body comes in. He's the one to tell you about that. <coughs> I, I beg your pardon, Lady Pye. There, there really isn't anything to tell uh, you. So the meeting dispersed and that was the end of that? Yes, exactly. That's how it happened. But how do you know, Uncle Samson? I saw it all in the morning papers. Oh, did you? Rupert, in future we must read the morning papers. What a lovely ring, Benita. Yes, isn't it? Who gave it to you? Shall I tell you? No, I don't think I will. Yet. Someone in Canada? Perhaps. If you ever go to Canada, you may find out. Me go to Canada? Mm. No, thank you. I'm far too comfortable here. <laughs> oh, you never know. Well, I don't want to hurry anybody, but uh, we all leave for the meeting in half an hour. Yeah. Oh, yes. I say you're not going. Oh, no, no, Daddy dear. I shall be back in a moment, and you'll be able to tell me exactly how you finished up last night. Yes, I don't remember very well. No, I don't suppose you do. Or you, Mr. Body. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Body, if you wish, you may get down. When are you going to marry me? There's work to be done. <laughs> Was it Jimmy? Yes. Did you give in? Not yet. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, just, ah. Oh, you missed your dinner? It was worth it. I'm far from well, dear. Poor darling. <laughs> You're looking charming tonight, Linda. Thank you, dear. That dress suits you. Thank you, darling. Of course, if you want another, don't hesitate oh. to buy it. You're so sweet. Oh, it's nothing, nothing at all. But, uh, Linda, this, this girl, Benita. Well? Well... She is not your daughter. Whatever do you mean? I mean you're being imposed upon. She's a cabaret artist. I know that. What? She told me. She... But did she tell you that I took her out to supper last night? Yes. 
And that she followed me here? Yes, and I'm delighted you two have become such good friends. You're delighted? Just think how happy we shall be. The three of us. You, I, and she. Linda, dear, are you quite well? Yes, thank you. Do you tell me that you'd allow that woman under the same roof? Well, why not? She's my daughter. She is not your daughter. But I am. You really are my stepdaughter? I am. And you knew this all the time? I did. Thank you. How dare you not tell me you were not what you weren't, when all the time you really were? Now, listen to me, Pa. Pa? One more word from you, and I'm going to tell everyone where you really went last night. No. And how you behave. No. And in future, you're to act like a human instead of a vegetable marrow. Very well. I promise. I'll reform. I'll never be good again. And Uncle Samson must go. Uncle Samson must... Yes. Uncle Samson shall go. You've brought out the savage in me. Ah! <laughs> of this orgy. Silence! Silence yourself, you old humbug. Who said that? He did. Wilfred, did you call me an old hum something? Yes, I did, and that's what you humming well are. <laughs> I demand your resignation from the League. And I demand your resignation from my household. Can I leave my house tomorrow? Tomorrow? I'll never set foot in it again. If you do, I'll slam the front door on it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the League of Purity, in future we shall be known as the League of Happiness. I'm going in for happiness. We're all going in for happiness. Let us drink to my stepdaughter and her future husband. He's going in for happiness. <laughs> my dear, a little present I bought you as I was passing through London. Isn't he sweet? Thank you, darling. Oh. Boys and girls, it's a party. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.